I'm going to talk now to Dr. Michio Kaku, our friend from City University of New York, physicist. Uh, just as important, you have friends and family in Japan. You've been in contact with them? That's right. We tried to call them on the telephone, and they tell me, first of all, that the entire Tokyo metro system is knocked out. One of my relatives can't go home. He has to walk home. And the taxi lines, can you imagine New York City paralyzed 10 million people waiting for a taxi? The airports are out. You can't get out. The, t the phone lines are dead. We can't even contact our relatives anymore. Mm. One relative told me that as she was walking down Ginza, downtown Tokyo, she could actually see the building sway. Can you they imagine were built going down to withstand earthquakes. That's right. They're built to actually sway with the earthquake. But can you imagine walking down Fifth Avenue and mm. seeing the Empire State Building sway? That's what you see now in, in, in Japan. Let's talk a little bit more about what is going on here beneath. Mm -hmm. uh, the Earth. I saw you nodding your head when the mayor of Honolulu was telling Elizabeth that these waves are very unpredictable. Very unpredictable. They travel at the uh, at jet liner speed, 500 to 700 miles per hour, and the Pacific Ocean is a pond, a pond compared to the enormous energy release that then surges right across the Pacific, and it's going to hit uh, the United States. It's going to hit Hawaii, and that's why we're very concerned about damage. Remember that the tsunami in Japan went a mile inland. Can you imagine a mile inland off the coast of a very heavily populated area? And, and what, is it, what is it about this ring of fire that we've all be, we're all beginning to learn so much about? Yeah, 90% of all earthquakes take place in this ring of fire from the Philippines up to Japan, up to the Aleutian Islands, Alaska, California, Chile. Remember the Chilean earthquake just a few years ago? The axis of the earth itself shifted slightly because of the Chilean earthquake. This earthquake is on that scale. That's the ring of fire where most earthquakes are concentrated. We've already seen 19 aftershocks. A small earthquake, is, as Juju reported, also in Hawaii this morning, 4.5. Should we be expecting more aftershocks? I think we should. Yes, definitely there will be more aftershocks. Every time you have a big one, another aftershock comes very soon after that. Already the people in, in Japan are bracing for the next one. They're bracing for the next one. Okay, Dr. Michio Kaku, thanks very much.